Hello everyone, my name is HGT and welcome back to some more of Let's Play Monster Hunter World. So we are here for the fin fin bleh, final part, uh, well, in terms of the low rank story, and we are going to be hunting Zora Magdros for the second time. Oh man, uh, yeah, so unfortunately, uh, for some reason when I went to go to the bathroom and came back, uh, apparently there was some connection issues, I don't know how. Whatever, I guess. But, uh, we are here talking to the Wyvern again. The, I'm sorry, the Wyverian. I apologize. And he is going to tell us where Zora Magdros is. And we are going to go and hunt him. Which will, should be fun. So, again, I apologize for the last part. The last part was not supposed to be the way it was. It, I was not intending to fail two missions in a row. Uh, so, uh, I did cut back on the time, so... You guys didn't have to watch, like, all 45 minutes of... <sighs> Sorry, yawned. Uh, of me getting angry. For those first two missions. For those, Everything well, clear. first two times. Let's review our current situation. Thanks to the Fifth Fleet's diligent efforts, we've learned a number of things. One, that Zora Magdros is heading for the Everstream. Two, that upon its death, It'll release the bioenergy it has stored. And three, that the Everstream is connected to every corner of the new world. So, if Zora dies inside the Everstream, its bioenergy will blast us all to hell. I think that's the first time anyone's actually sweared in, in, on, in the game. The Commission should make evacuation its first priority. I'll tell my sister to prepare her airship. There's no time. We don't have any choice but to take down Zora Magdaros. What? Blowing ourselves to oblivion is not what we're trying to do. Correct. And the whole reason we're here is to study the beast's role in the ecosystem. Not erase it from the ecosystem altogether. True, um, true. I think I might have an alternative. What if we tried to lure it away from the Everstream somehow? Lure it away? Yes, sir. I did a little digging, and the Everstream borders the ocean, right? So if we can lure Zora Magdaros out onto the open water... We can mitigate the blast. And the bioenergy released would start a whole new ecosystem in the ocean. Life would go on. Need That's interesting. That's an interesting concept. We're currently short on supplies from our attempt to capture it. Why does my waifu have to be so negative? She's always so negative during these meetings. What kind of weapon could get that thing to change its Sad face. face. Don't worry. I have a plan. A very big plan. Is that what I think it is? Oh, ho, ho. now we're talking. Is that what I think it is? Of course it is. It's an old, it's an old guild ship. I don't know if it's actually an old guild ship. It's a ship, and it's pretty much the key to beating Zora Magdros. Sure took your sweet time getting here, but we're happy you made it. Happy to be here. I brought everything you'll need: ballista, cannon rounds, and a literal boatload of supplies. Not to mention a little surprise. The guild supplied us with one hell of a ship. It's She's equipped with a Dragonator. The greatest anti-elder dragon weapon. A, a Dragonator. The greatest, the most satisfying thing the in any video game sort of in terms of like, like, giant weapons. It's so satisfying when like an elder dragon walks up to it and you just shoot it into its body. It's so satisfying. I'll explain the details on site. We can do this. We must do this. Otherwise, we die. Star, light our way. Now, get moving. And like it, like I said, if we don't succeed, we are Time good as dead. Off. All of us. Okay, so uh, let's go to the item box real quick. Uh, I want to take some things, and by some things, I mean the important things. Uh, wow, I am running really low on, uh, potions and mega potions, but, uh, they pretty much got us through the entire, they pretty much got us through the run, so I'm not too mad. I just need to cultivate some more, uh, 
some more herbs, so I'll probably do that later, considering this character is pretty much going to be, after this, it's going to be a stream character, so I will be streaming with this character on Twitch.tv, so if you guys haven't followed me on Twitch, go do that. Um, and before, I also want to uh, change my character's look a little bit, because why, I don't know, because I decided to. Okay, so, as much as I love this armor set, it looks badass, I want to... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. Now we gotta go through another loading screen. Okay. I wanted to go to this, layer armor settings, change all, samurai. And then I want to change the color because that it's a little too white for me. Uh, let's go with this. I like that. And then we're going to... I, I think that's fine. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go to options, uh, head armor, hide... And come on, you can't say that doesn't look badass. You can't say that doesn't look badass. And what what kind of people would we be if we didn't give her a very samurai-like weapon? So I do have the, uh, the Iron Grace. I did make it uh, at some point. I think it was like before I recorded uh, Diablos and Rathlos, so... Yeah! I, I like the I I'm, call me fashion hunter, but I really love the like samurai armor. Then using a, a long sword, so hopefully this goes well. It's eight fourteen, dude. I remember when it was like, like okay. So I got a funny story to tell you guys. Uh, I had class at two forty. Uh, I got out of my other class at twelve thirty. Uh. <clears throat> So I, w I came back here to the dorms, and I pretty much fell asleep. So I fell asleep, I woke up, it was like 2.40, it was like 2.40, I was like, fudge. I didn't actually say fudge, I said something else. I don't even know why I censor myself sometimes, considering I'm always swearing like a sailor. Okay, so what do we need for the Iron Grace? We need Dragonite Ore. I know you can get Dragonite Ore from uh, Zora Magdros's back, so we'll probably do that. Uh, Kuligaku, uh, Wyvern Blade Fall, I think I need, don't I need, I was gonna say, don't I need, uh, the other, the Rathian version of it, Fall, Hardbone, Chotel, just looking at my options here, Jira Chotel, I don't know why I can pronounce that, Pulsar Chotel, okay, we're not gonna worry about it too much, we're gonna be going with this weapon, uh, the sharpness on it is a little meh, but I think it'll be, f I think, I think it'll be fine. So we will, uh, we'll go into the mission. We will shoot the, uh, we will shoot the, um, ah, man, the SOS. Hopefully, I do hope that this time around, we are not going to get bad hunters that are going to die. So, hopefully. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get it. I'm not going to bring too much with me because most of this fight is... Most of this fight is going to take place using cannons of Ballista and then the Dragonator, so... I'm uh, not going to really worry about it too much. So, yeah. So, online session. i got to do this. Let's create an online session because the game decided to kick me out. Hopefully they're, we're not having, like, server issues or I'll be actually really mad. Oh, hopefully this goes well. Actually, speaking of which, uh, before we go, I actually need to go and upgrade my... I actually want to go and upgrade my armor real quick because I don't want to get nearly one-shotted. So we are going to do that. Uh, where am I going? I'm so used to going up the stairs because... I don't know. 
I'm just so used to going up the stairs. Sue me. Okay, so let's upgrade. Upgrade equipment. I was going to say, where's my set at? Uh, oh well. I'm not going to worry about too much right now. Uh, those aren't doing anything. Do that. Because pretty much after, uh, as soon as we get to high rank, these things are going to be completely useless anyway. So might as well just get them out of the way now. So we'll do that. And we will go to lay. Alright, okay. So those are upgraded a little bit. So we got 10 defense total out of all that. So let's post a new quest. Do Zora Magdros. And let me fix my chair. That's better. Uh, signed. A colossal task. Hunt a Zora Magdros. Or Zora Magdros. <laughs> I gotta sneeze, but... Hmm. I think my phone was ringing, but I really didn't hear. I, I kind of need to be, like, on close ear with my... I don't think that makes any sense, but I really need to listen for my phone because uh, I just put in an application for a restaurant for my internship, and I need to make sure... I need to, you know, make sure, you know, I hear for when they call because I would hate to, like... I truthfully would hate for to make a like terrible first impression and not answer the phone. So I gotta I gotta keep a close eye on that. Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. I don't know how long the Zorus fight gonna take. Cause it's it's in a different area than uh the other than the other Zora fight. All right. Let's go over the operation. The subterranean channel Zora Magdros is using continued deep underground. We'll have one shot to divert it here when it surfaces. If we let it slip by, it's out of our reach forever. That's why I'm breaking out the big guns. The Dragon Eater. This is pretty awesome. Dude, how is that for awesome? This is the Dragon Eater. We'll use it to drive Zora back and divert it out into the open sea. The target will be coming at us full tilt. So your job is to wear it down and try to keep it in check. Be relentless. Are we clear here? Very good. Right. Yes, we got it. One more thing. Nergigante is bound to show up to try to make a mess of this. If it gets in our way, it's up to you to stop. Look how out of place I am. Everyone this looks like a bunch of knights and stuff, and here, well here I am looking like a samurai. We can do this. Scout ahead. <laughs> Signal us if you spot any trouble. It's coming. Hopefully we get some, like... Yeah! I believe you get some, like, armor skins for, like, characters in this game who don't, like, have, like, armor sets that aren't, like, very armor sets in the game, if you know what I mean. That probably doesn't, like, make any sense to you guys, but you're just, like, oh, nothing you say makes sense. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint. I I'm kind of mad that I'm actually, like, I'm using a, uh, a sword for this guy because, like, he... His magma core is, will spew magma on me, and it and it hurts, man. It hurts. Good thing he doesn't do it like, oh, like 
two minutes, like a couple of times in a row, otherwise I pretty much would die. Okay, we're on Zora's shell. Destroy the magma cores to weaken Zora Magdros. The success of the whole operation comes down to Alright, let's fire SOS. Hopefully some target. hunters join us, and if not, uh, I think we still do it. I'm not saying I'm an OG pro at this game. Heh, <laughs> I totally am. Nope. Still hurt me. That is the power of the magma core. Alright, I'm gonna... See, you can't say playing Faction Hunter isn't fun. Especially when you have this kind of set. Okay, so I've never used... I've never used, um... Longsword in this game, so I don't know the combos and whatnot. Uh, I'm trying to look at the, uh... I'm trying to look at the, uh... Owie. I'm trying to look at the, uh... The movements set up in the, uh... Upper corner. Upper right-hand corner. Because <clears throat> these things will turn black once you completely finish them, so... That way you know, like, hey... They're done. They're the Dunskis, bro. Hey, someone joined. Sweet. I'm just gonna keep slashing away at this thing and get hit by lava. Because, you know, All right. it going on my face definitely doesn't hurt me. <clears throat> Alright, let's get it. Okay, please don't roll into that. I was really hoping I didn't roll into that. And I didn't, so... Hopes really do come true, I guess. That was close. Okay, so there's this. Hey, we did it. That's pretty... It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna say it. I love the dank beam, but I'm not gonna say it, I promise. Alright, let's sharpen it real quick. <clears throat> okay, so we got the other guy in here. Hopefully he doesn't leave. I hate when people do that. Okay, so we got some Dragonite or Noish. Okay. Next one. Okay, so hopefully while I'm doing this, I can also learn combos and stuff. And owie. I didn't really... I thought I saw an opening there, but I guess I was wrong. I'm, I'm probably playing like super like basic longsword right now. I know some of the longsword users like, Ew, what is he doing? Oh, he's doing it wrong. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Owie. Dude, wow, that... That hurt, dude. I'm so actually lucky because if that would have comboed me into that lava, that would have actually been kind of bullshit. That would actually been very much bullshit. <clears throat> Dodge out of here. Cause I don't think there is an area to to actually uh get out of there or something. I don't know. Owie! I'm trying to manage my health as best as possible because I really don't want to have another incident. And I, I don't know where this other guy is. I see him on the map. He might be at the third magma core. Oh, oh gosh darn it. <clears throat> I 
This is fun. I like this. I was watching a review of this game, and uh, someone said, like... Someone said, like, the Zora fight wasn't fun, and it was really hard for them to, like... To, it was really hard for them to, like, uh, farm him. I, I highly disagree with that. I very much disagree with that. The matter of fact that I didn't kill Nergigante, like, before all of this is kind of bad. That means I'm not really doing good on time, but it doesn't help that I'm pretty much doing these things by myself, so... Nice, we got this one. Sweet! So we got that one, there's one more Magma Core plus Nerg equals... Still a decent amount of stuff to do. I used to be so lost on this guy's back, now, now I actually like... Now I'm actually just like, hey, I know where I'm going. And I want to mine this because I want Dragonite Ore. This is like really easy Dragonite Ore. Don't run into that. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna go get uh, Repel Nergigante. We're gonna go hit the third Magma Core. Uh, hopefully, we get another player in here. That wouldn't be too bad. I think there's a maybe not. I don't know. I thought there was a mining spot over there. Okay, here's where it is. I'm gonna mine this real quick. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, at least let me get, like, okay. It's too late. <laughs> I was really hoping to, like, get up here before he actually, like. Oh, uh. Okay, where am I? I know where I'm at. Don't get hit by lava is the goal. And Nergigante. Now, Nerg is scaled down just a little bit. He is super hard once you get in the high rank, but right now he's he's super, uh... Right now he's super, uh... weak compared to what he usually is. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up! No, 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 no! That's why I wanted to back up. Okay, good. It actually didn't hit me, so... Okay. Where's the other guy at? I thought he was over here. Oh well, I guess I'm fighting Nerd by myself. And let me back up, because I don't want to get hit by Zora's Flamethrower, because that shit hurts. Gary! Gary's leaving me! Owie. Yeah, Divine Blessing kicks in a lot in this game. Back up, back up, back up, back up! Um. Ah, fuck you, Nerg. God damn it, dude. Are you kidding me? I'm actually pretty salty about that. About that win, bro. Oh, man, dude. I'm actually pretty salty about that. Nerg's very existent makes me mad. I mean, I'm proud of myself for putting up with him as long as I have. And we can't even... God, we can't even go this way. I've never had that actually happen to me before. That's... That's actually a first. We have to go all the way around here. I almost forgot. I thought that might lead in a path now that he's, like, you know, up. Oh? What's going on here? Wait, what's he doing? Oh, he's getting back on his other legs. Uh, did we repel Nerg? Yeah, he's gone. And, uh, actually, no, we still need one more Magma Core. We still have one more Magma Core and then we're, we're A-okay. And let me try not to get hit by falling debris because that happens way too much to me, unfortunately. And then we'll mine while we're up here, too. Uh, I don't want to... Actually, we're not doing too bad on time, because usually, by the time I repel Nurk, uh, Zora's... Zora's on his other legs, and we have to get the other Magma Core, so... Oh, no. No, no, no. 
That's I'm going to hit. Yep. Ah, uh, crap. And heal. I'm so used to fighting this guy with like a high rank set. Hey, I'm okay. I'm a okay, baby. Oh, so that's how you do this attack. Nosh, we did it. Okay, so third man core is done. Uh, very soon we'll trigger uh, the uh, the like cannons fire and stuff like that. So we just we just have to wait at this point. Uh, 25 minutes. It's not too bad. I'm pretty sure I can like cut some of the stuff out. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to keep it very strict on time, but with this game, I really can't. Yeah, okay, so now we're traveling via Windrake, and now it's going to be very much like the original fight. Over here. I'm going to get that last heal. A little bit of heal, just in case. Back. Uh, so, okay. I really, really enjoy the Zora Magdros fight. I think it's very fun, because I'm... As far as I've been playing, there really isn't any other monster where you get to util utilize all this stuff. So I'm actually pretty happy about that, and I'm actually going to load this in here, and I'm actually... I don't think we have a teammate down there. No, we don't. So I'm actually going to jump down there. I'm actually going to jump down here. So we can be prepared with the Dragonator. And then also be... We're not going to use it yet. It's not time. We need to fire the cannons first. Fire the cannons! Hey, fire it again! No one hit that. It's not time. I refuse to hit it now. Don't hit it. Nobody hit it. I'll fight you. I got the station clear. I got this. I got this, homie. Okay, now it's time. Okay, let me put this in here. Because typically you wouldn't... Eh, I guess. I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to use it yet. Because I, I, I don't want to screw this up. Oh, let's grab some ballista ammo. Oh, uh, where is he? Okay, we'll, we'll hit it now. You ass! That was my job. I hate you. I actually hate you. I generally hate you. I don't like you. And I want you to know that. I want you to know that. That was my job and I was getting ready to do it. I was just waiting, wait, bleh, waiting for the perfect time. I cannot speak words at all. Get out of my face. Get out of my station. I don't like you. I don't care if you're Japanese. I don't care if you've been playing Monster Hunter longer than me. Oh man, I missed. I missed like a majority of those shots. Would you get out of my station? I hate you. <laughs> get the height. Get the get the hint, man. I don't know. God damn it. I'm actually pretty salty about that. That was supposed to be my. That was supposed to be my time to shine. This guy just ruined it for me. You ass. You're an asshole. <laughs> oh gosh. I do love playing with the Japanese community though. Because the Japanese community compared to uh, the West community, they're they're always going to be playing Monster Hunter. So I, that, it, that's, I think, the nice part about it. So like, even when like the West community has completely like given up on this game, the Japanese players and the, the well, the Asian players will always be there in my opinion. Well, at least I think. At least I know the Japanese community will. I don't know about, you know, you know, the Chinese and, uh, <clears throat> the Chinese community and the, uh, Korean community. Because I don't know what their stand is when it comes to Monster Hunter. I want to push this over a little bit. We're actually pretty fairly close. Have
Haven't you done enough damage? You've you've ruined me. I just want you to know that you've ruined me. That was supposed to be my time to shine. Don't come near my cannon. I will hit you. I will hunt you down. You will be my next target. There we go. Ready when you are. Good. Fire! That facial animation. Fire! And he just keeps his mouth open the entire time. Oh. The lip sync in this game is atrocious, but it's like in a good way because I admire it. Get right through. Sorry, if you guys hear like a cracking noise, I'm cracking my my uh my fingers. Did we do it? We did it! Yeah, we did it! Yes! <laughs> nice. Destruction is no longer imminent. It's over. Yes. See, most of the time I would call him lazy, but he actually was a badass when uh, he was fighting Nergigante, so I can't call him lazy. Yeah. That looks like old Rathian set, doesn't it? It looks like Freedom Unite Rathian set. That's what that set reminds me of. A little bit. I wonder if I'm wrong. It's been a while since I played Freedom Unite, so I could be entirely wrong. character looks like a badass. Grandfather? Grandfather! So, ready to go home? <laughs> yes! You you have to give the you have to give the developers prop. They really make you feel like like so pumped and stuff. Hey character, we're gonna be meeting here in a little bit. Well I don't wanna say a little bit, but it's close. Alright guys, so that was the Zora Magdros fight. Uh, it's very, I don't want to say it's super reminiscent of, I actually know it's very reminiscent of the, uh, the other, the first Zora Magdros fight. Uh, we do get, what was I going to say? We do get a pretty decent amount of uh, rewards. I personally recommend if you like hunting, uh, if you don't mind hunting Zora Magdros, he's a great way to farm not only uh, a very hunt high rank beginner armor set, but also his parts sell for a lot of moolah. So if you're low on money, maybe fight him. The fight is actually fairly simple, so you will make a whole bunch of money just by fighting him, and you'll get so many of his materials, you won't even know what to do with them. Because by that time, you know, you'll probably make most a majority of the weapons you need. I don't want to say majority. But, you know, that, that main weapon type, you're probably going to make the Zora weapon for it. So, uh, that's what I need to make. Come on, man. Don't freeze on me. Awesome. Awesome sauce, guys. But, uh, yeah, so that's the let's play for the game. Um... I know some people were probably disappointed in me because I'm not playing through the high rank stuff on this channel. All the high rank stuff that I'm going to be covering will be in the form of online hunts. I will be streaming them on Twitch.tv. Uh, but yeah, but with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. I have been really enjoying playing Monster Hunter on the channel. It's, it's really been a blast to play my favorite franchise of all time on... Uh, you know, for my YouTube channel, I've cut, I've pretty much stopped doing everything else on my channel and focused on this game uh, for the next while. So, yeah, but with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It feels good to be back playing Monster Hunter after so long uh, because of college. But, it, you know, it feels good to be back, back, you know, in my sweet Hunter armor. But, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in my streams other online hunt and my online hunt videos. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.